This is the question asked in today's skill rack daily challenge. So we will be given a string which contains multiple words as input. So in our sample input 1, this is the given input string. So here we have multiple words. So the first word is Monday and then January and then leap year, calendar, day. So these are all the words present in the given input string. So now if the word is of even length, then we have to split it into two. So here the first word is Monday. So the total number of characters is six, which is even. So we have to split this string into two. So the first three characters will be a string and the last three characters will be a separate string. So in our output, we can see that first we are printing M O N and then printing D A Y. So in between both of these, there is a space because we have splitted the string. Similarly, now the next word. So the next word is January. So the total number of characters is seven. So seven is odd. So we need not do any changes to this string. So we can just keep it as such. And then the next word is leap year. So totally there are eight characters. So eight is a even number. So we have to split the string into two. So the first four characters will be a separate string and the last four characters will be a separate string. So leap is a string and then year is a string. So in between both of these, there is a space. And then the next word is calendar. So again, calendar is also of even length. It has eight characters. So the first four characters will be considered as a separate string and the last four as a separate string. And then the last word is day. So the total number of characters is three. So it is odd. So we need not do any changes. We can just keep the string as such. So this is how we get our output. So now our task is to define a function named split even length words. So first let us see the code given to us. So this is the code which is already given to us. So in the main function, first a character array named str is being created of size 1001 and then using a scanf, they are accepting the string as input. So this is the format for accepting a space separated string. And then making use of this function split even length they are storing the input in revised str and then using a printf statement we are printing this string revised str so now our task is to define this function named split even length words in order to get the desired output like that so now let us see how we will be defining that function in order to get the correct output so first i am including the string.h header file because we will be making use of the strtok function which comes under string.h and now we are going to start defining this function named split even length words. So this is the name of the function. And in the arguments, we are accepting a character pointer named str in which the given input string is stored. So now our task is to return a character pointer. So within the function, first we are going to create a character pointer named strs in which we will be storing our output. And using mlog function, we are going to allocate memory to it. So I'm allocating a memory of 10,001. So now we are going to split the string str based upon spaces so that we can iterate through each and every word and add it to the strs. So we are going to make use of the strtok function. So I'm storing it into a character pointer named token. And in the second argument of strtok, I'm giving empty space because the string str should be split based upon space. And next we have to create a while loop that iterates until the token becomes equal to null and in every iteration of the loop we have to set token is equal to strtok of null comma empty space. So this is the syntax for making use of strtok. So when we are going to do like this we will be able to iterate through each and every space separated string. So now in every iteration of this while loop the tok is nothing but that space separated string. So we have to concatenate it to the strs and again there are two possibilities if it is of even length then we have to split it into two and add else we can add it directly so first let us see what we will be doing if the length of the string is even so here first using a if condition we are checking whether the string length is even so if string length of tok mod 2 equal to equal to zero then we will enter here else we will move to the else block so here, first I am creating another character array named temp of size 1001 and an integer variable named len and I am initially setting it to 0. So what we are going to do is, we are going to store all the characters of 
token into this temp and after that only we are going to store into it strs so here i am creating a loop in order to store all the characters of token into temp so in every iteration i am setting temp of len plus plus is equal to token of i but it was given in the question that the string should be splitted into two if it is of even length so here i am just adding another condition if i is equal to equal to string length by two then we are adding extra space so what happens is while storing all the characters once we are at the middle position an empty space will be added so what happens is now the output in the temp will be as per the conditions given in the question so after the first half characters the empty space will be there and then the remaining half characters will be present so this is how we are going to split the string so the last character should be null so i am setting temp of len is equal to null and now our output is only present in temp we have to add it into strs so using strcat method we are going to concatenate the character array temp into strs so in the arguments we are giving strs and temp so the temp will be concatenated with strs and after concatenating it we have to add empty space also so again i am using strcat and i am adding a empty space so this is how we will be splitting the string into two and we will concatenate it with strs in case if the length of the string token is odd then we will enter into this else block so as per the conditions given in the question if the length is odd then we need not perform anything we can just directly concatenate so using strcat we can just concatenate token with strs and after concatenating token we should also add a empty space so finally after the execution of this while loop our output will be present in the character pointer strs so using a return statement we can just return it so this is the logic to solve today's daily challenge thank you for watching